I got a lot of questions about the MR2 Mark I 3D printing project and therefore I thought about a small video, a short video, but with some updates about the ongoing projects I did. So this is for example the rain or sun cover for the engine bonnet or the, the bonnet and the engine lid. Then we have uh, some number plate covers, we have a battery holder, we have, uh, yeah, we have the air intake. So I just show you some of the projects right now. Um, I had a lot of work with the carbon fiber ring of the Suzuki Wagon R, but it is uh, mounted now, it is glued, it looks awesome, but it still has some uh, problems. So here you can see again the rain cover. So this was designed as a rain cover, but as you know, um, these cooling caps, they are very, very sensitive to UV radiation, and that's why it's most of the time just a sun protection. So I have different designs here. This was the first one with the edgy corners, it does not fit really, so when water comes in. Then we have the second one, which fits very well. But you still have here a little bit of problems. But here you have the nice round corner. And this is a PET, the recycled PET. It's uh, in the sun all day right now. And we have, I think, 25. It's very warm, but it's, it's still fine. Helps protect against UV radiation or when you park your car and don't want to get rain inside. Um, if you remove the... I will show you this. So, talking about these. And if you want, you have this other file here, which you can print in uh, TPE or TPU. And then you still have a ceiling. And you can see this has a problem because it's a little bit, it's hard to print because you print it like this. So you have a very nice flat surface here, um, but here you need something like a support structure. And therefore this design is a little bit better because you can print that very easily. You have a support structure in the middle and it's, the stability is a little bit better than here in this shitty thing. Then you have the already the holes, so you can put the pin on side. But right now I have some problems with the thread stock. So what you see here is the cold air intake for the MR2 Mark I. Uh, I already showed it. We had some problems because this was hard to print as one big piece in a yeah, standard printer or a private home printer. Um, but yes, now we have um, the first part is the plate uh, with the, which is mounted directly onto the MR2. And then we have three pieces fitting together, building one pipe which sits directly in, yeah, hopefully in the air. Um, it fits, I proved everything. But now um, the next project is to put them together. So I will use um, glass fiber and epoxy resin to make one tube out of it. So this is still in progress and I will yeah, upload the video um, as soon as possible. So this is the prototype 3D printed air intake, which sits like that and gets directly cold air sucked. I think it's a nice one. Then I have a new steering wheel. I still have some problems with the horn button because that's the wrong one. But the steering wheel is awesome. And yeah, I still have this one here. It does a great job. But now I want to show you the problem here. 
so this is moving. So here is a battery holder for the MR2 in progress because I have a bike battery. And yes, I still have some um, grip problems with the full recycled um, PETG. Normally I have no problems with the uh, Form Fortura full recycled or PET. Um, but this time, I don't know why, this, uh, this roll is a little bit, or this coil is a little bit buggy. Um, so I will change to extruder ASA. I never printed with ASA. So it's like this graphite black. So I will change. So here comes the battery holder. Then I made a small tool for removing the timing belt or just uh, here setting up the ignition or whatever um, so that your cam gears don't or cannot move for the blue top for a GE. But as I mentioned, I have some uh, problems with treadstock right now. That looks good. So here the battery holder is coming. Battery holder is ready now. So check that out. Here is the new bracket now, fits perfectly. Battery is tight here and on this side. So when I put this thing down, hopefully it cannot move anymore because it's just a small bicycle battery. So, so yes, it's just as it can move a little bit, but that's fine. So I think and here we have some 3D printed covers because there are 16 holes underneath this thing and I really hate this because the license plate should be bigger but I don't like big license plates that's why I started to make something like a cover here in the maybe same color um, and hopefully you can enjoy the weekend see you in the next video bye